Hello everyone. Welcome to my another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to encode anime into small size. I will be going with hard subs for tutorial. If you need a tutorial on soft subs from me in future please comment below. The software we are going to be using is the most widely used tool that is Handbrake. Now first we should understand that it is not possible to convert a video file into smaller size without loss of quality, there will always be loss of quality but what we are trying to do here is convert it into a decent size with minimum loss in quality. Let us begin first by selecting a file. Here is the file I will be selecting for this tutorial. This video is a 720p video. You can a video with any resolution. The setting you see here are not the basic setting you will get when you open Handbrake for the first time. For this video I will be using MP4 format. Leave the rest as it is. Now let's come to dimensions part. You do not need to change basically much here. For me I prefer the original resolution of the video. You can upscale or downscale the video as per your choice. Upscale is not usually recommended. But most important thing is to maintain the same ratio otherwise you will be getting black bars around the video if you mess that part up. Now let us come to the filter tab. Basically I will not be touching anything here and leave it to defaults. The defaults will be just fine. Now let's come to the most important part. The video tab. Here there are a lot of things we need to understand. Firstly the video coded. A video codec is software or hardware that compresses and decompresses digital video. HEVC stands for High Efficiency Video Coding, also known as H.265 and MPEG-H Part 2, is a video compression standard designed as part of the MPEG-H project as a successor to the widely used Advanced Video Coding, AVC, H.264, or MPEG-4 Part 10. In comparison to AVC, HEVC offers from 25% to 50% better data compression at the same level of video quality, or substantially improved video quality at the same bitrate. But it is also not supported properly by many devices. We will be using H264. We will not be using the 10-bit one but the normal H264 which is basically 8-bit. The difference between the two is a bit complicated so to know the difference you can google it up I will not be covering that here. Next we come to the frame rate or FPS which stands off for frames per second. For standard movies and animations it is 24 FPS to 30 FPS. We will be going with 30 FPS. We will not be using the average bitrate section. Why because it will flatten the whole video at an average bitrate which will result in terrible quality. For more efficient results we will be using CRF which will basically increase and decrease the bitrate as per the requirement of the scene. The higher the value of CRF the smaller the size of the video and worse the quality. The lower the value of CRF the larger the size of the video and the larger the quality. A CRF of zero is lossless video. We need to find something which is a balance between the two. The recommended CRF will be between 21 to 26. I usually use between 22 and 24. In this case we will use 23.5. Now we come to the encoder preset. The faster you encode your video the worse the quality and the slower you do the better the quality. You are recommended to use medium. I use slow generally so will be using the same here. The encoder tune and profile I don't think makes a very big impact on the video and neither does the encoder level. But I usually use high encoder profile with a level of 4 plus always and that would be a recommended setting. In the extra options panel you can write the extra presets you need but that is not something we will be covering for here as you do not need it for this tutorial. Now we come to the audio option. You can select two to three tracks depending on how many audio languages you video had. You can have two tracks for a dual audio video. He I have just one Japanese track so I will be using just one track. Audio codec is the audio compression you will use. You should select a six channel audio if your source has it. You can select a pass through if you do not want to compress the audio. 
Animes generally come in AAC format so I will be doing the same here. My source audio is stereo and I will be choosing a bitrate of 96 kbps. If your video has subtitles then come to the subtitle section. Add track. Add new track. I will click on burn in so that it will encode the subtitles on the video. You may ask why I am doing it. Basically anime episodes comes with customized fonts which will not appear if you use the default option on handbrake. It basically turns the entire subtitle file into a very dull plain text which I do not want for anime. There is a way you can encode the episode with soft subs preserving the same text style. I will be covering that in another video. Now come to the save as tab. Come to the browse option. Save the video where you want to save it. Click on start encode. Wait for the encode to complete. The encode will take time based on your computer specifications basically your processor. The better the processor the faster the encode will take place and vice versa. Let me fast forward the video a bit. As you can see we are done encoding. Let us now play the video. Perfect. If you liked my video do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Also please leave your feedback in the comment section below.